Hey, baby! Welcome back to Feed the Beast Horizons, guys. Uh, in the last episode, you may have remembered we were screwing around with the tunnel bore machine, and we were having a little bit of issue getting it to work. Um, I did a little bit of work in between episodes and kind of figured it out a little better. Let me show you guys here real quick. Let's get out of F5 mode. Ah, that's better. And as you can see, I've uh, the area that the tunnel bore was boring into, I have turned into an extra room for activities and maybe some racquetball. But as you can see, I put a little stairway down here and did a few tests with stuff. And as you can see, I have a uh, diamond shaft on a, uh, this is a performance engine. I've got the water hooked up as I should. And it's it's done running now, but as you can see, the, the tunnel bore works like crazy. It went quite a far way. And it collected all this stuff. Now, honestly, most of this stuff is garbage to me, but the sand was useful. And it got a few ores out of it. Nothing to write home about. So I'm not sure how useful this thing is for mining. But if you have to make a tunnel... Here, let me show you how far this tunnel goes. Let me get into flight mode here so I can go a little faster. As you can see, this is the, this is the island that my base is on. This is the back of it. But it goes under the water. And can I get in here? We'll have to dig our way in, maybe. Well, anyway, it goes for quite a while in this direction, too. Maybe I can just hit this. There we go. Look at this. Oh, wow. So, yeah, guys, it went quite a far away and made a nice tunnel for me, basically. It's called a tunnel bore. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. So, we got it working, and I'll show you what I did. Um, all it required was, you know, a regular performance engine. You know, and I used gunpowder as the additive in it. But um, what I was noticing about these gasoline-powered engines is they had a lot of speed, but very little torque. So I created this item called a worm gear, and the worm gear basically converts speed into torque at, like, a certain level. And apparently it's inefficient, but if you look at this tunnel bore, guys, uh, it says the opposite. I used this dynamiter to regulate what the size was or what 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 power it was outputting and yeah it works pretty good now so i think i have a good handle that most of some of these machines require speed and some of them require torque and then there are some machines that ignore both of those and just want the straight power um the the tunnel bore or the boring machine is a torque machine it needs torque so these worm gears are good for that they basically take all that crazy speed that these these gasoline engines are giving them and turn it into torque so cool we got that figured out so we can move on we're gonna pick all this up we're gonna take it upstairs and we're gonna get started on a new engine today i was looking through the book this, this this mod does involve a lot of reading. Like, this book is your guide, and it's kind of convoluted, and there's a lot to look at, so it, it, it can be intimidating at first, but you gotta read the book, and I found something. Um, now, the chances of me finding it again might be a little difficult, but I think if I, ah, here it is, I found it. So apparently this mod has um, other mod support built into it. So like, if you were running um, I forget what that what, industrial craft you could use a, this engine and this engine runs off of EU um, there's a couple more in here that's not one this one runs off of build craft fuel so like if you had fuel you know that you processed out of oil you could put it in this engine and it would run off of that what we are gonna use and unfortunately the only power system available to us that has mod support is the magnostatic engine and you'll see there's a lot of this thermal expansion sort of blocks in here along with a little bit of that so we can turn redstone flux into into railcraft or rotary craft power so I say we do it instead of uh, building a whole new power system for rotary craft which would be kind of interesting and we did get started we, we made ethanol and we've been using the fermenters and whatnot so we at least tried and we did it and eventually we are going to get into making jet fuel but um let's go ahead and try to make one of these i forget what it's called again i think it's a magnostatic something like that something with a magnet in it here it is so we need a redstone energy cell lead silver redstone reception coils and then just some basic stuff from that 
So let's get a redstone energy cell. I should have a couple in here. I got three. We'll just grab all of them. Um, let's grab some lead. Hopefully I've got lead. Got tons of it. Good. Uh, silver, please. <laughs> Here's a bunch of... That's astral silver. Here we go. Silver. And what was the last thing? I think it was a reception coil. We got 26 of them. We should be fine. Um, so yeah, if we get ourselves some shafts <laughs> and some base plates, I have to giggle every time I say shafts. I'm sorry, guys. That's very unprofessional of me. If we get this crap out of here, and I think we put it together, we could actually probably click it in. I love clicking stuff in. It is my favorite thing in this mod. And of course it doesn't work. <sighs> what am I missing? What could I possibly be missing? We've got our base plates. We've got those. We've got our lead. I don't think I'm missing anything. Sometimes things just doesn't, don't want to work. All right, so we have one. And now we have two. So hopefully we can now use these as our main energy source and stop screwing around with some of this dangerous... Uh, these dangerous exploding engines that blow my face off. So let's give it a try here. As you can see, I have a gas engine here with another worm gear because um, this this uh, grinder takes torque energy more than anything. And as you can see, it produces a lot of lubricant. So that's cool. We need to figure out a way. We need to get it into the lubricant bucket. Boom, boop, boop. And I think we just need a pneumatic servo. Clunk. All right. What did I just do? I swear I just put a pneumatic servo in there. There we go. Sometimes these blocks call me a damn liar. Ignored. And, oh, we got to hit it with the wrench. And we should be solid after that. And get that lube out of there. There we go. It's now draining the lube. Let's pick this guy up. And let's try out this magnostatic engine um, so you got to put them like that there we go that looks good so I think all we have to do is hook up some redstone power to this and I should have brought some energy cells down here let's see here put that away put this boring machine away um, oh yeah we've got some resonant energy cells that should be more than enough power for anything ever so if I put that like that and then set the back to output right oh it's filling up look at that ah so what do I do here oh oh okay so it looks like I could just keep hitting this plus or minus to reduce the power and it'll use up stuff based on that but at the minute at the moment it doesn't look like it uses up let's see how many is it it is draining this thing and I have it like at a pretty freaking high speed at the moment so I think this is gonna be a really great power source from us for us because I can just keep well this seems to be the tops which is four point megawatts uh, 2,000 rads and 24 the 2,000 of those so that'll do us for a little bit I think I don't know what else would take that much energy but it, it's working this thing and apparently it you can do I have a lever on me let's test it out with a lever I think these things have redstone control which is more than the other engines do no lever please lever why do I not have levers I swear I make like levers every episode any levers in here no. All right, let's make levers. I swear I make like a stack of these every episode. <laughs> there we go, another stack of levers. All right, so if we put that there. Okay, let's click on it again. And redstone control. That did it. Oh, look at that. So that's working great. Let's grab ourselves some canola seeds. Maybe I have some here. And see how fast this uh, canola. Canola. There we go. We've got a bunch. We've got a bunch. Let's grab a bunch. And let's get to making some lube. <laughs> Back to making lube. Every episode seems to be all about lube. 
that's still going at a pretty slow speed, but it's working, so who cares? Boom. All right, let's not waste that. We've got 50 buckets of that stuff. I think we're going to be good for a while. So cool, we've got ourselves a new energy source, so let's find something to use it on. Um, what could we use it on? Let's see. There was something called an extractor maybe we wanted to look at. Let's see here. Ba -ba. It was a funky looking little machine, and I definitely want to make one. All right, back to the beginning. Was it here? Nope. Here we go. Extractor. And apparently with this guy, you can basically get a chance of doubling your ore in every step. Um, I think it might take water to fill it up. Let's see here. Megawatts. Okay. I think we can, I think we're capable of producing this stuff. I don't know. Let's give it a try. So let's see here. Boom. We need steel. We need a drill. We need netherrack stone. This isn't too hard to make. Let's get our impeller. Um, we're going to need that. We're going to need shafts. We have drills right here. Um, what was the rest of the recipe? I think it was a piece of wood, of all things. A piece of wood, stone, and netherrack. Weird. That is weird that it would require stone and netherrack. And of course stone doesn't pop up without having to look thoroughly for it. Here we go, one piece of stone. Um, netherrack, we should have tons of that stuff. And one piece of oak wood, please. Nice, all right, let's see if we can click this guy in. Oh, of course this thing is full of garbage. Uh, just get out of here, get out of my life, get. Get going. <laughs> we gotta clean this out. Cause we wanna shift click this in. Extractor, please. Where is it? Here it is. Alright. Oh damn it, man. Why doesn't stuff wanna click in? Stuff never wants to click in for me. Am I missing like one piece? I think I am missing one piece. Alright, let's get some stuff out of our inventory. We have sand, this stuff, this can go. Goodness gracious, so much stuff! That is one bad thing about this mod, is it requires so much inventory management. There we go, we got it! Thank goodness, thank goodness! Alright, so where do we want to put this? Let's put it maybe... Ooh, I want to kind of keep it around this water. Let's just put it up here. No, no, that's a terrible idea. Let's put it... We're just going to put it here. Like that. Okay. I wonder which side the energy goes into. Maybe this little device can tell me. Alright, what side? Apparently all sides. All sides are fine. Oh wait, wait a minute. I think I saw a color on the bottom. It requires energy through the bottom. The hell? Alright, let's get one of those... I don't even know how to do this. I think I need a bevel. We can't use a shaft junction. We need something to turn it upwards, right? No. <laughs> All right, let's pick this up and let's look and see what it takes to make a bevel mount because we do need this to bevel. Bevel gears, this isn't too bad. I think I have most of it. I'm just missing that one little gear, this guy. All right, shift click in for me. Okay, good. Whew. So if I put this bevel down like so, we want the green pointing up, I think. Oh wait, we need to use the screwdriver. Why doesn't stuff work? I want it to bevel up. <laughs> Is it capable of beveling up? Let's maybe put this down second. All right, we're gonna figure this out. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll get this figured out. All right, so we're gonna have our engine pointing this way. And then we're gonna put our extractor like that. And then we're going to break that and then we're gonna put our bevel gear down. 
Okay, should, shouldn't it? Let's see if it matters where I'm standing when I put it down. So if I jump up like this, well, that's not going to do it. If I jump up like this, ah, well, it would help if I picked it up too. There we go. Um, let's try it like this. No, it's doing the exact same thing. How do I get power to go down a line and then point upwards? I am so confused. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it right here and mess around with some configurations and see if I can figure out how to turn this upwards. Okay, guys, I am back, and I think I've got this figured out now. So apparently there's a GUI with this uh, bevel mount. So you click it up. And you can pick your input and your output side. Currently, I have the input set to pink, which is over here. And the only way you can see those colors is by doing this. So we want the output to be blue so that it faces upwards. So let's do that here real quick. Output blue. Boom. All right. So now we should be able to slap this extruder down and it be powered. So if we look this up, it's getting enough speed, it looks like. And, but it's not getting enough power. So let's turn that up. It's missing speed at the moment. And there we go. Well, it's still missing a little bit of speed right there. Huh. And I don't think this goes up any further. Okay, so this guy might not be able to power this. Let's see here. It, 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 that's so weird that just this one thing of speed isn't working. So. What we could do is probably try this out. Um, we want to hook up some water to it. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a mess over here, by the way. I apologize for that. This should not be such a mess. All right, so we're getting some tanks. Our tanks filled up. So let's put some ore in here. Do I even have ore? I have tons of ore. Let's throw some copper in here and see what happens. So if we put copper here, this is drilling it. So it looks like it goes through all these crazy steps and then pops out the end with the possibility of doubling it. So now that's turned into copper dust. This copper dust is going to get fanned. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's fanned. It's being drilled here. Uh, it's been turned into a copper slurry. I don't see anything happening here which is disconcerting. I think I'm going to need more speed. Hmm. I wish there was a way I could just turn up the speed on this thing. Let's actually pick it up and maybe we can add... Oh, let's do it this way. What am I doing? Pick it up like that. Boy, let's add one of those junction pipes. What are they called? Shaft junctions. And let's stick a gasoline powered engine on here we don't want to use these performance ones let's use the just regular gasoline one and maybe we can get this guy going here let's see here shaft junction okay we can hit this a few times get it in the proper mode we want it go that way good let's put the magnostatic one here and we'll put the gasoline one right here and I, I hope these guys will work together. I, I, they should, I guess. I don't know. This is a test of it, if anything. Put that there. And I think it's already spinning. Oh, no. I got to turn it on first. So let's turn this all the way up. It's weird. This thing requires more speed. And as you can see, we're missing it there. So maybe if we grab a handful of ethanol crystals and chuck it in this guy. Oh, it's not liking that. Is it doing anything? No, I guess these are two different kind of power sources. So let's take this guy out. Um, let's take this one out. I guess if we run out of options, we could, let's just try two gasoline engines, I guess, and see if that does it. If not, maybe we could try two magnostatic. I think that should work. Two is better than one. Oh, I did it the wrong way. No, this way. 
Okay, do we have any more ethanol crystals on us? We're gonna have to make some more. This is why I wanted to go with the magnostatic engines. Okay, it seems to have picked up. And no, this is even worse. This is even worse. Okay, and it's missing a lot of torque too. So, let's pick these guys up. Nothing works with this. I need a lot more power than I currently have. I guess the performance engines would work. But let's pick this up. Let's grab ourselves some conduits. We haven't used these in a while. Yeah, let's grab these guys. Very good. And we'll stick a magnostatic one there. Oh, right. You got to do it this way. That's just so counterintuitive for me putting it that way but whatever whatever they want I'm fine all right so power here and we will stick the other power going like chunk pachunk 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 there we go and if we do out the side there and I think this one might already be going all right let's turn the speed up all the way that's one going. Speed up all the way. And I think they're caught up. I think they're going the same cycle. Ah, darn. It's still not getting the speed. Okay. So should we try the performance engine? So we just need a better engine for this. I wonder if we take this slurry and try to cook it, if it will do anything. Nope. It's not doing anything. Okay, it seems like we're gonna need a better engine for sure, or to figure out how to use the speed things, but we're gonna need bedrock for that. So I guess what we could do is we'll take a break here. We're gonna have to step back. I don't think we have the ability to use this machine yet. We're missing one little monochrome of speed. I wish there was a way to just hook this into speed. That would be very helpful. Oh no, we gotta, they gotta be going the same thing. I wish there was a three-way junction. Hmm. Oh well, guys. Well, we gave it a try. We will fix this up in the next episode, probably. We, I think we just need a better engine and we can get this thing working. We kinda got it working, but at the fourth step it gets stuck because it doesn't have any things. What we should do, probably though, before we go, is just double check in the book, make sure we're not missing anything pertinent. Okay, these flakes can only be smelted in a surface to obtain the unit's ore. Each stage of the extractor has a 50% chance of doubling the ore's output. The machine's requirements are complex and vary from stage to stage, but a supply of water and Oh, that's this is what we're missing. We need 8,192 rads to run for all four stages. We've got the torque. The torque is no problem. It's the speed we have a problem with. So what we could do is maybe set up separate engines. Um, we could set up like a performance engine over here maybe. And let's give it a try here real quick. I think the performance engine is going to have enough speed for it. So if we do that, let's let's just give this a try real quick before we end this episode and we give it a little water, a little agua. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what we can do is we can just switch the outputs when we're ready. And let's go grab some gunpowder. Am I out of gunpowder? Here's some. Okay, so let's get this set up too. It's got plenty of water, it looks like. Or some water. I wonder why that's not getting more water. Weird. Okay. Oh, there, it's going up. It's just going up slowly. Um, let's put our ethanol crystals in here. Let's put our gunpowder in here. Not all of it, just a little bit. Quit, quit trying to eat all my gunpowder. And what we can do is hit this like that. And we can set, once we've collected enough of these copper slurries, let's go ahead and switch the output to, I've already forgotten the color, the input to orange, right? 
Let's give that a try. Input orange. Nope, this is still not enough speed. Holy crap. This thing needs a ton and ton of speed. Okay, so this must be a kind of later game item. Once I get like a gas turbine or something, I can get the appropriate amount of speed for this. That is crazy face to me. Okay. Um, blue, I think we wanted to input purple. We can at least get some slurry going here. So yeah, guys. Um, well, we tried to get it working, but we're, we are just still missing a... We need another powerful engine. We need yet another powerful engine to keep things going smoothly. And if you guys know how to get this working, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear what I'm doing wrong. Because I know you guys just want to scream at me through the screen anyway, so just do it. Tell me what I'm doing wrong in the comments. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon.